2009, Torbjorn Olesen went to Q School and missed out on his European Tour card by a single shot. 2010 saw a strong year on the Challenge Tour, and he is now a rising star on the main tour with two wins already. You know, you see a lot of talent come through, but it was very obvious soon, uh, very early, that this, this kid has a lot to offer. And uh, he, he's turned into a really good friend, and, and I just, uh, you know, I feel like I, I can offer him a lot uh, of advice. Uh, he takes it well, uh, and then he goes his own way with things that you say to him, which, which he has to. But um, no, we have, a, we have a very, very close friendship today um, that's grown over the last couple of years, but he's, um, he's just a very, very good kid, you know, and that's, uh, it's not very often you get somebody that's that good, and then, uh, then on, on the other side, outside the golf course, is just a, a really, really nice guy as well. He's been my big idol since I was a, a little kid. So, and then getting to know him the last three or four years here on tour has been a, a real, real good, uh, good experience for me. And he's he's learned me a lot in, in different tournaments. And yeah, hopefully this week he will he will give me some uh, some tricks also. And uh, yeah, I mean I'm just I've been real privileged to uh, get to know him that well. And. I learned so many things of him. Oh, guys. Another idol of yours, I think, was, uh, as was most people's, Tiger Woods. And there was this moment at the Open Championship last year when you two got paired together, didn't you? I think it was the third round on a Saturday. Just try and describe what that was like to be playing with Tiger for the first time in a major championship. Yeah, I mean, I think it was especially that that it was in a, in a major and one of my first major championships. And I was, I think we were second or third last group. so. Before he even was with Tiger, it was, it was a big thing for me to be in contention in a major. So, and then being paired with him was just, uh, yeah, it was over my head. I mean, I was, uh, I was really nervous in the beginning, but then I find my own game and just played some good golf and uh, hit a lot of good shots. But uh, it was a big moment in, in my career and gave me a lot of confidence uh, going on from that event. And I knew after that that I was, I was able to compete with, with the best players in the world. How good do you think he can be? Well, I mean, it, it's all about taking small steps in, in this game, and he's, he's still very young, and, and he's, he gets into strides where he does so extremely well, and, and sometimes that can be difficult to, to just continue that run, you know, and he, he ran into a bit of trouble over the summer, but it seems like it's just slowly starting to turn around in his favour again, but he'll have to take those steps uh, slowly and, and know that he's going to run into trouble at times and, and then just try and grind his way through it. And, and his work ethics and the way he goes about it is, is brilliant, so it's all really up to himself. I think golf-wise and mentally he can go go all the way. Um, so it's just for him to, to take everything the way it, it comes to him and not get ahead of himself. And then, then the world is at his feet. I think he, he, he could very easily become a top five and even a, a top three player in the world. What kind of advice have you given him for this week in terms of playing a match play team event? I just got to take all of this in, you know, it's uh, when you're that, when you're young and you come into stuff like this, you know, it's, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit exciting, it's a bit different, you know, and you got to take, take in that you, you're part of a team, you're not just yourself and, and he's got to, you know, get as much information out of, of his captain this week, who's got so much to offer uh, from Ryder Cups and, and the way he's, from his whole career, just take, you know, suck as much information out of him as possible about what it's like to be in a team, you know, and get to know all the stories about what it was like playing with Seve, what it was like to do this and that, how, what it's like to lose, what it's like to win, you know, because I think you learn a lot more from losing than you do from winning. And you can learn a lot from getting up against, uh, you know, people that you know well. And that happens more and more in the Ryder Cup now, that you, you play against guys you know really well. And where, you know, 15 years ago, there was a very big divide between Europe and America. Now they're friends across, across the teams and, and how that can be hard to get out there and, and really grind it out. Um, so you've got to learn from playing against guys that he knows well and, and wants, wanting to win. You know, it's all a learning curve when you're 23 years old. Wise words, Thomas. <laughs> I'm very impressed. <laughs> soon to be European Ryder Cup captain Paul McGinley is going to be around I think overseeing watch, watching people play are you keen to make an impression on him I know we're a year out but I imagine you must be keen to show him that you would be up for the challenge of the Ryder Cup yeah I mean I'm, I'm 
I'm definitely going into it to try to show off that I'm a, I'm a good match player also. Um, but like I said before, I'm trying to um, concentrate about my own game and, and try to sort that out and, and, and try to see if I can win a, a couple of, of tournaments. Um, but yeah, I'm going into this week trying to, uh, to win some matches and try to show him that I'm a, a good match player also. Is he one of the rookies you think we could see in the European team in 2014? Well, he's definitely one of them that you could see there. You know, he, he obviously needs to start getting into gear and, and start putting in a, a few good performances. He's definitely one for the future. If he'll make Glen Eagles, you know, that's, that's to be seen, but he'll make it for the future. And that's uh, when we've had a long chats about stuff like that, you know, it's, it'll come when it'll come. You know, he, he's still in a, at a stage in his career where he has to put a little stone on every, every year. And, and make himself a little bit be better and a little bit more aware of where he is. If he'll make the Eagles, I don't know, but, um, but he'll make Ryder Cup teams in the future.